Suppose we have certain set of lines, a line in the horizontal direction. Let this and another line incline to this first line by angle alpha. We will write that later. Let this be another line. Let's drop a perpendicular from this line to the second line and also to the bottom line. Now drop a perpendicular from this point to this vertical line. See, that is, let's call this angle alpha and call this angle beta. We have this, this angle 90 and this whole angle 90, also this angle 90. Let's call all the points A, B, C, call all the points of intersections A, B, C, D, E, F. Now, if this one is alpha, this angle will be 90 minus alpha. Clear, since this is a right angle triangle. Definitely, this angle will be, this angle will be 90 minus alpha. Which gives, if this is 90 minus alpha, that is, this angle is 90 minus alpha, this angle will be alpha. Clear. Now, again, this angle is 90 minus alpha. So, if you consider the triangle EDC, EDC, this angle is also alpha. Clear. That is, I'm just writing only the angle alpha and leaving all the other, other angles like that. So, you have all the angles and the points marked. Now, Consider this triangle ABC, AB. Consider triangle ABC. -E. What is the value of sine sine angle A? Sine angle A can also be written as sine alpha plus beta. Since the whole angle A is the sum of these two angles, alpha plus beta. So what is sine alpha plus beta? Sine is opposite side, that is EB. EB by hypotenuse AB. If you look at the line EB, this EB can be written as BF plus FE, BF plus FE divided by AE. Again, sine alpha plus beta is equal to, this can be written as BF B F divided by A E plus F E divided by A E. This is equal to. Now let's introduce a side A D that is A D and E D in between these two terms, these two ratios. That is, if you divide and multiply this this ratio can be written as BD by BF by, let's introduce AD, BF by AD into AD by AE. See, the ratio doesn't changes. The, the ratio doesn't change. You can divide or you can cancel this AD and AD in here. The equation remains, the ratio remains the same. Plus, similarly, introduce ED in here, that is FE divided by AD into ED divided by AE. Again, this ED and ED will get cancelled and the equation is FE by AD. Clear. So, on the left hand side, you have sine alpha plus beta, sine alpha plus beta. Now, what is BF by AD? See, BF by AD. For that, let's draw another line from the point T and such that it is perpendicular to the bottom line through AB. That is, 
this this one is 90 and let's call this point d a b c d e f g clear so instead of b f you can write b c this b f and g d remains the same so instead of b f you can write g d by a d into a d by a e plus f e divided by e d into e d divided by a e so this can be written as sin alpha plus beta sin alpha plus beta is equal to now look at now let's look at gd the ratio gd by ad see gd by ad if you consider this triangle right triangle agd gd by ad is actually sin alpha sin alpha into what about ad by ae see ad by ae if you try if you consider this triangle ade then ad by ae is the ratio cos beta cos beta the plus what about fe by ed fe fe by ed see let's consider this triangle eft you know ef by ed is the cos is is cos alpha so cos alpha into now the last ratio ed by ae ed by ae if you try if you again consider this triangle ade then ed by a is sin beta so you have that relation sin alpha plus beta sin of alpha plus beta equal to sin alpha cos beta plus cos mm -hmm. alpha sin beta clear So we have sin of alpha plus beta is equal to sin alpha cos beta plus cos alpha sin beta. Now what's the value of sin alpha minus beta? See this sin alpha minus beta can also be written as, I'll write it here sin alpha minus beta can also be written as sin of alpha plus minus beta clear at plus and minus will turn into minus so this can be sin alpha minus beta can also be written as sin alpha plus minus beta so what will happen if you write sin alpha plus minus beta so instead of beta in here you only have to put minus beta so this will be sin alpha cos of minus beta plus cos of alpha into sin of minus beta clear so sin alpha into what what is the value of cos minus theta cos of minus theta will be cos theta since it is an even function it doesn't change the value if it if the angle is negative or positive but if this is minus this is sine that is sine of minus sine beta is minus sine beta so the trigonometric ratio sine is different from that of cos because sine is an odd function here it is an even function and cos of minus theta is cos theta so here you can write cos beta plus here cos alpha cos alpha sine of minus beta is minus sine beta you can put the minus in here so this will be this can be written as sine alpha minus beta is equal to sine alpha cos beta minus cos alpha sine beta so that's the formula for sine of alpha minus beta